Yo, before I start this video, can we just take a second for these girls, these magnificent girls? Seriously, I will tell you all about it in um, next Thursday's vlog because that's today when I'm recording this video. But all shout outs for my girl Rochella from She Ross Hair in Omri. Omri? Omir. Because she, she prefers magic on hair and stuff. Okay. Way too long intro. If you saw Thursday's vlog, you already know I went to London to visit Google and I got this wonderful t shirt with YouTube in the front and Ivana in the back. And today is also a wonderful event. You should follow me on Instagram and Snapchat to find out what it is if you can't wait until the vlog for next week. But following that uh, quite emo introspective talk. I'll but if there's anything that I would like you to remember from my videos, is that <laughs> you don't have to do anything to make anyone else happy you just have to make yourself happy i it really got me thinking about what really changed my life in the past i think six years so i just wanted to share this knowledge with you because it's not something um i think you you heard it quite often but i just want to share my story with you and then maybe um you can apply it to your own life in order to uh, be happy, you know? <laughs> because that's what almost everybody wants in life, right? So I couldn't have done the things that I have done in the past six years. So for instance, my Victoria's Secret mission before 30 and uh, saving for three years to travel last year, doing YouTube, whatever, without this thing. And this is seriously, I've thought about it so much, like this has made the biggest difference in my life. And it is simply, only hanging out with positive people. So wait, wait, I, I before you stop this video uh, and you're like a girl, I know this, I've heard this like 5 million times before. Wait, I just want to explain to you what I consider negative people and what I consider positive people because I haven't heard anybody really talk about it like that. So here's the thing, when you think about negative people, probably already one or two names will pop into your mind from the people that you know. Uh, people usually think about uh, people who complain a lot or are miserable in their life, yada yada yada. Of course there's some negative people, but for me, everybody has those days. Everybody likes to bitch and moan at a certain point in their life. <laughs> you know, sometimes it feels just so good. But like the really negative people, the people that I really do not want in my life are people who, you know, when someone hurts them, they retaliate. When they are jealous, they try to put the other person down. When they are down themselves, they try to make other people feel horrible in order to make themselves feel better. In short, negative people, in my opinion, are people who let their actions be um, affected by a state of mind that they're having. So, like I said, everybody likes to bitch and moan at one point or another in their life. But also everybody gets jealous. Um, everybody gets backstabbed at one point in their life. And um, everybody has those days where it, other people's lives seem so much better than your own. But the negative people take those states of mind and let their actions hurt other people. In contrast to that, the positive people that I now have in my life, all my MVPs, if you watch my vlogs, you know all of them. I'm not gonna name them because one is not more important than the other. Like they all have a special place in my heart. But the positive people, no matter what shit they go through, they will never let that affect their actions in a negative way. They will never, if they're jealous of someone, try to sabotage that person. Or if someone hurt them, they will never try to retaliate. These are the people I really, really consider have a golden heart and are just so good in their soul. You know, that, that's what being positive is all about for me. So when they get into a situation, when they can choose to backstab a friend in order to gain something for themselves, they, they will never do that. They, will, they would never take money or fame or whatever in return for backstabbing their friends. And I've seen them, I've all seen them in these situations and I know for sure, can vouch for each and one of them that they would never do that. So um, how did I get to this point where I 
really only have these people, this, these golden hearted people in my life. Well, um, I think it, it, it all starts with yourself. You need to look yourself in the mirror and see if you're that kind of person that would, you know, retaliate when someone hurts you or sabotage someone when you're jealous. And I know I'm not that kind of person. No matter how much someone hurts me, I'm, I'm not going to try to hurt them more. Or if I'm jealous of someone, I'm not trying to sabotage that person or talk behind their back or whatever so it all starts with yourself you need to be a positive person yourself but if you think you're already that and i believe most of you guys are because i know i see responses and i always say those responses say a lot about you as well so if you feel like you're that positive person high five to you mate bam bam hit it up and you you might feel that there are some of these negative people in your life that are affecting what you're doing you, you know how they respond when you are successful they always tell you like oh that's nothing or you didn't work that hard for that oh really you're happy about that or you know when you hurt them or you say something not on purpose they will be all like oh but you're such a such a mean person and yet yet and you will be like yo i didn't do that on purpose why are you going off at me you know so if you feel like you have those kind of people in your life this is how i got rid of them i first started taking more space from them so i started apping a lot less with them so you know talking on my phone i started hanging out with them a lot less just to see what what kind of effect this would have on my life and i just noticed so much more peace so much less drama and I, I really liked it. So I, um, every time I increased it, that space between me and them, I increased it a little bit more. So a lot less apping, a lot less hanging out until at one point they were just faded or muted in my life. I have to admit I'm quite ruthless, ruthless, ruthless when it comes to this because I don't care if your family, if you're trying to make me feel bad about things that I'm really happy about I don't care I don't want you in my life so that that's me personally I can understand for some people it's it's a lot harder because I grew up with only my parents and my brother and my whole family lives in Yugoslavia but so for me it's quite easy to take that distance even from family but I can understand that it's a lot harder for other people on the other hand, I can highly recommend it to you because it has made all the difference in my life. You know, when I'm down, there's no person in my environment that will make me feel even worse because that was the case with these negative people. When I'm happy, all my friends are and all my family is, is jumping with me for joy. Uh, when I have when I have doubts about my myself, no one will be there to you know confirm those doubts. Yes, you are ugly, or yes, you are not smart enough, or no, you are not talented enough to do YouTube because negative people will do that. No, all my friends and all my family that that are around me now, they will all be like, "What the hell are you talking about?" They will not even discuss those topics with me. They will be just like, "Girl, you're talking trash. You're just having a bad day. You're awesome." go to sleep wake up tomorrow and be awesome again and that is exactly what i need and that is exactly why i accomplished the things that i did in the last six years now please don't don't take this as bragging i'm not telling it to brag at all i just want you to know that this was uh one the biggest change in my life that has brought me up to a point where my life is really drama free I only have people around me who are so positive, who all have golden hearts and who are just the most amazing people I have ever met. They are all so inspiring also in their own way. Some of them are smarter than me, others are more creative, others are more kinder than me. They all inspire me to be a better person and I think that's the only way to grow. Like those negative people who will drag you down to their level who will retaliate, who will sabotage you when they're jealous. It's really hard to grow in that environment. Like if you think about it from an agricultural point of view, how 
big do you think a tree will get if you plant it in the rocks it can grow but because it doesn't have the right environment and it, it's the same for us human beings you need the right environment to grow you need the right people around you to grow and science is with me on this like the one of the biggest factors contributing to your growth and to your development as a human being are the people you surround yourself with one of the biggest factors for your happiness are the people you surround yourself with are, are the meaningful relationships you have i will link the vlog uh, the blog barking up the wrong tree in the uh, in the description down below because eric barker touched upon this topic a lot of times and he's actually the one who got me thinking like i need to get rid of these not get rid of them but just create some space between me and them to see what kind of effect it would have on my life and it turned out I really wanted to fade them out and I wanted to mute them. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a bad friend. Whenever a friend or a family member of mine has a bad day, I will not fade them or mute them or whatever. It's a completely different thing to have a bad day or to just, um, in essence, have evil tendencies of hurting other people. So everybody has their own struggle like even the evil people, they also want to be happy. They have their own struggles. They have usually been through a lot through really really nasty things in life but i hate to say it i'm not a therapist i'm not here to fix your issues and when i see how the positive people handle negative situations and how the negative people handle negative situations i want to i want to be on the positive side and i want to surround myself with people who i really look up to and who make me into a greater person instead of solving other people's problems so if you have any stories you want to share about negative people or any thoughts you would like to share about how to fade them out or how to mute them please put your thoughts down in the comments below because i can also always learn from you guys i always learn from you guys you are freaking awesome i hope this video was helpful if it's the first video you ever see of me please don't forget to subscribe for more videos i make travel vlogs and you can travel along with me if you like the video put a thumbs up